that I've been facing with artists or just seeing certain commentary is the way artists are pushing back against platforms like TikTok based on their own superficial perception of what it's like mm. and outside of doing the work, understanding what's actually existing on the platform, that there are so many other types of music that are winning on the platform and understanding that you don't even have to be this content creator going super heavy to have success on the platform. There's so many ways to be successful on a platform like TikTok. And why I'm starting with TikTok is also because this idea, oh, only this type of music wins on the platform. No, there's specific types of songs. So you can have, there's no one artist where I would say market all your music on TikTok. There's no one artist where I would say market, do a music video for every single song. Right. right? Do it. Don't do, um, uh, don't market all of your music on um, YouTube or all like that. You have to understand that there's channels that take place. So don't rob yourself of new marketing channels just because you're going with this surface level of, of attention. You have to think like a promoter, like a marketer, when you think about marketing right. your music, not this whole identity that you have where you say, oh, this looks like young kids or oh, this, and you're basing it off of stuff right. that has nothing I hear to do a lot with anything. Of, I hear a lot of artists say that as I was been talking about TikTok. The main thing is like, they're like, yo, TikTok is for kids. Like, you know, or, and you know, TikTok so used to be like Facebook musically so or whatever. Is Instagram. So, right. So they're like, yo, there is just kids, a bunch of kids on there. And then they feel like they always have to do these like funny videos where, you know, cause you know how you got the clips and stuff. So they like, man, I'm gonna have to like get out my element pretty much and, and be childish to, to put like a video on what TikTok. What happened when artists were creative though? Like I, 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 I think a lot I of artists, artists, well, the artists urban used to be artists, creative. I think so many artists too right cool now, for school. Just, yeah, so many artists just think it's, like a, a a thing now they're doing it for, I don't know, I just want the money, the streams and all these other things that so many of them aren't actually creative because just because people are winning in one way on a platform, that doesn't mean you have to like submit to that way. There might be another creative format, whether yours might be a little bit more jury, right? There's always the anti. So if there's that many people on the platform, there are some people who are into the emo thing. Some people are into happy go lucky. Some people are into dancing. Some people, there's literally TikTok. There's this one TikTok page I came across. This girl's just staring at the screen, bro. Like that's it. <laughs> like, and, and it has millions of views, right? right? And like, that's basically all she's doing. It's another dude who has like a shark and he's talking and, and doing like there, there's and there's this one girl that's weird and it's a little creepy the stuff she does, but that right. call, that goes across with that goes with certain types of music, right? Like so, like there's so many different aspects, but you can't be afraid to show your creativity and market your creativity. Everybody is so busy trying to hack the game of what's already existent. Like what do you have that's unique outside of your music, right? Because okay, now we can say, oh yeah, you do what you you do your thing on your. On, on your music, but is that the only creative form of expression? Do you have no visual aspects of creativity? Like I, I don't know. I get frustrated by artists that refuse to be artistic and creative and only look to what's winning. And they, because they always are going to end up behind the curve anyway. Oh, this is only for kids. And then once all their peers are doing it and everybody else is winning, then they're going to get on it and try to do what they're doing. Right. You're already behind the curve. You already are going to take the L because careers aren't made out of just talent. It's not made out of just money and resources. It's also made in moments. There's certain windows of opportunity that happen where you get exponential results. And then once that window passes, you can go triple as hard as that other person did, but they walk through the door. Your ass is trying to break through the wall right. as opposed to just walking through the door when everything was a lot easier. So you're not going to get the same results or you're going to have to put way more in just to get there. I think with all of the different tools that we have now to just get ourselves in front of the people, I think that's it has crippled a, like our artists now of this generation because mm -hmm. they don't have to work as hard to get to the fan base. They don't have to mm -hmm. like do all the things that a lot of people had to do years ago to make themselves stand out. I feel like artists years ago was just different in their own sense anyway. Like, you know, it wasn't like, Oh, I need to be like this group or I need to be like this rapper. A lot of people had their own identity. So when they were putting out their creative work, it really spoke to who they are. Mm -hmm. But I think now is like, a lot of artists are basically taking on the identity of other people just because they feel like this is what's selling. 
So they they only want to be as creative as creative as what they see. You know what I mean? So it's like if they don't see their favorite rappers all, all on TikTok busting down videos and all of this stuff, they feel like that's not something that I probably need to do. And this is probably more so for the rap community or, you know, the urban community, not more like the singers, but like rappers because they like, yo, I'm not, you know what I mean? Like they don't see anybody that they are familiar with doing this now they might see a whole you can see like a whole bunch of the users might make some a song to who's a rapper what kind Lil Nas X J. Cole <laughs> no Nas X is not the rapper we're talking about J. Cole a J. Cole or somebody a little harder Lyrical. like a like a like Kendrick a young Dolph like young okay you know yeah, what I mean young like Dolph. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know what I'm saying like you, Gotti, that, right that yeah so it's like those type of artists you're not seeing like that type of content being created on, you're seeing more of the funner songs. That's what like they're a, a there, There's somebody who, who is literally that type of music, and I know the person that does their marketing and killing it. So you plug and, and did that thing. You know what I mean? So Brand made a plug because he know him. I mean, <laughs> it's not even about knowing knowing them. I don't, I, look, I don't got to introduce you to somebody else's marketer. I do the junk for you. Like it's, it's I'm, I already have artists that are doing. Play. There's one song that I would consider one of the most successful songs that I'm um, doing right now on TikTok. And I mean, I, I don't know what category you would call it, but it's it's not just even regular rap. It's a little bit more harder and, 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 and a little bit more grit. And then there's another song that I don't even know what genre to call it. But people are rocking with it, and the artist is super mm. delighted. Like you know what I mean? Like right. And it like I yeah I don't even know what what genre to call that, and it's, it's, it's kind of weird. But uh, I, I think, but that's what I'm saying is like when pe you know when people can't see it, they really don't yeah, believe in it. Sometimes, exactly. You but know like, what I mean? That's, but that's why I just want to see more point of view, perspective, and and thoughtfulness when it comes to artists because that's one of the greatest ways to stand out the greatest artists that we know they all stand out due to those things that we just talked about like, yeah. like but they have a way of seeing things a way of doing things and that's why you can mock them you can talk like drake and make up some statements and people are like oh yeah you, you mimicking jake right oh, you mimicking j cole or are oh, you mimicking jay-z like you, you can hear because they talk in a certain way they 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 put things together and express in a certain way right you as your other artist, you need to be able to develop that. Not only like auditorially, visually, be able to do both of those things. Because if you're just basing everything you build on hacking the game, that's that's where it dilutes. That's why I don't. I try to tell Mark, uh, not Marcus, artist, bruh, do your thing, get in your whole, build all your stuff, do do your, do your create your art, and then look at marketing. Like I could take anything and then figure out where do I put it, piece it together. People are so focused on just, oh, I gotta do this this way, I gotta go through this lane that they don't act that they dilute their art because now they think I have to do that. Yes, you can actually build out a song to go be successful on this platform, this platform based on those formulas. Do that if you want to. That if that's your thing, right? Um, but also understand that when it comes to this marketing thing, packaging is the mag is the magic. And knowing where to place it is the magic. So if you have a song and you in your creative bag and it happens to be a super kitty song, I'm going to place it after Mar Barney. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. if, it's a, if it's a harder song, then I'm going to put it in a different place. You know what I right. mean? Like it's all, all those choices can be made. We just need there to be something unique there in the first place versus you thinking I need to do this or I need to do that. If you, you pick the marketing channels and placements and all those other decisions get made after the fact. You can't eliminate any platform completely because it, it might work for one song amazingly. It might not work for the next song. Right.